remember if you follow us that we reported a story on November 11th of this year. A guy named Manuel Pagan arrested in New York City with 22,000 fentanyl pills. 22,000 fentanyl pills. Now, what does that mean? The dope pushers buy these pills, and Manuel is actually transporting them to the dope pushers, the people on the street. They, they're capsules. So they knock it down, the capsule, and they take the fentanyl inside and they sprinkle it onto heroin, cocaine, methamphetamine, whatever it may be, to make the drug more potent. Okay, and fentanyl can stop your heart, can kill you. Everybody knows that. So we have hundreds of thousands of dead Americans every year because of this fentanyl. All right, and it's manufactured primarily the ingredients in it. It's man-made, all right, in China, sent to Mexico to the cartels. They smuggle it across because of President Biden's open border policy. It's easy. So uh, Pagan gets 22,000 capsules, and he brings them into New York City, and he's going to sell them. But that's not what he's charged with, and that is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. Because of the insane criminal justice system we have here in New York City and New York State, Manuel Pagan was charged with possession. Not possession with intent to sell, which is obviously what he was doing, okay, but just simple possession. Like you'd have two capsules in your pocket. So he was released without bail. Shocking. Shocking, irresponsible, whatever adjective you want to put on it, it it was sickening. Particularly if you have family members who are dead from drugs or you know people who have died from drugs. Now, this is what I said. Go. Sign of the Times, New York City. Dope dealer, Manuel Pagan, 49 years old, Washington Heights. That's Upper West Side, way up in Manhattan. Cops arrest him, 20,000 fentanyl pills. 20,000 for Manuel, released on his own recognizance, no bail, charged with criminal possession of a controlled substance. Possession? Possession? 20,000 pills? Think Manuel is going to use 20,000 fentanyl pills? It should be possession with intent to sell. That get Manuel 10 years in the state penitentiary. Nope. Now, Manuel will never be seen again. He's due back in court December 15. He's gone. He'd never come back. Well, today is December 15th, but he came back and I was wrong. But there's a reason I was wrong. Okay, not an excuse reason. But a valid reason I was wrong. So he did answer his hearing today with his court appointed attorney, which means he didn't pay any money. A woman named Molly Kalmus. Okay? They did not enter a plea. The district attorney, Alvin Bragg, is soft on crime as any uh, law enforcement officer in the country. This guy doesn't want to put anybody away. His office says that Pagan is going to remain on the street, no bail, and that they're going to have discussions about a possible resolution of his case. Again, he didn't enter a plea. So what does this mean? It means that Bragg, the DA, made a deal with this Pegah that he's going to say who gave him the 20,000 fentanyl pills. You know, this is how it works. But you don't have to do it this way. All right. You can charge him with possession and he's facing 10 to 20. That's when you make your deal. But the guy came back with assurances from the DA through his court appointed attorney that A, he'll be able to walk right out, which he did, okay, and B, that there'll be a quote unquote resolution. So we're going to follow this to the end, but the odds of Manuel Pagan getting jail time are zero. He'll flip. Now, the only danger of Manuel is that the people who sold him the fentanyl might clip him. So 
Manuel better watch his butt because that's what this is all about. There's a deal in the making here. But again, they don't have to go about it this way. So why am I reporting this story? Well, number one, it's outrageous, okay? And number two, it shows you that many law enforcement people, not the police per se, but above, the prosecutors, the governors, the mayors, they don't care whether your kid dives of fentanyl. Fentanyl is not a high priority for them. Biden doesn't care. And I mean that literally, does not care. Yeah, I'll give lip service to it because they have to. But if they really cared about people dying from drug ODs, they get tough on the drug pushers. But drug pushers from Seattle to Key West, they know even if they're caught selling the worst drugs in the world, fentanyl, heroin, methamphetamine, cocaine, not much is going to happen to them anymore. They're going to walk. They'll bust it down a simple possession, whatever it may be. So what is this? What is this? <clears throat> I mean, what is this? And you always come back to the fact that most of the drug dealers in this country are minorities. That's what this is all about. And the Alvin Braggs of the world, put his picture up there again, please. Um, He doesn't want to put people of color in prison. He just doesn't want to do it. Wants to decarcerate this guy. Now, in Philadelphia, it's so bad that they're impeaching the DA there, Larry Krasner, and my sources in Pennsylvania tell me Krasner would probably get convicted and booted out, just like the guy in San Francisco. But Bragg in New York is safe. But it just, it just drives me crazy to hear all this lip service, but, oh, yeah, we have to get them help, and we have to do this, and we have to do that. They don't care. They don't care. And, and it's shocking. It's absolutely shocking. The President of the United States could not care less about people dying from drug overdoses. He could not care less about six million foreign nationals pouring in here unsupervised. He just doesn't care. It's so shocking. Usually in the past, they faked it. All right? They faked it. Oh, yeah, I, 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 yeah. They don't bother doing that anymore, these progressives. Eh. You know, we don't want to put uh, minority people in prison because the system's biased against them, on and on and on and on. That's a memo. There is a concerted effort to intimidate and silence conservative thinkers, rewrite American history, and replace our God-given individual liberty with big government controls. The very freedoms secured by our Constitution are now being threatened by the most liberal leftists our nation has ever seen. They have failed to secure our borders, weakened our position on the global stage, are trying to indoctrinate and corrupt our children in school, and the list goes on and on. But there are plenty of patriots with the courage to stand up to the far left. AMAC, the Association of Mature American Citizens, is the leading conservative advocacy and benefits organization in the USA. I am a member, and I hope you will join as well. AMAC members have access to money-saving benefits, a robust website, and mobile app, and a magazine filled with all kinds of great content. So please join AMAC today at amac.us and tell them O'Reilly sent you. That's A-M-A-C dot U-S. Putin. He's not showing up for his year-end news conference, first time in 10 years. Not showing up. Smart Life, Mark Cuban. You know who Mark Cuban is? Throw his picture up there on the radio. He is the, uh, I guess he's a billionaire. Uh, He owns the Dallas Mavericks and a whole bunch of other stuff in Texas. He's starting the Mark Cuban Cost Plus Drug Company. This is the Smart Life tip. Now, Mr. Cuban, to his credit, wants to bring down the cost of drugs, prescription drugs, making medicine more affordable. Right on. Right on. Okay? But he hasn't done it yet. All right? So the Mark Cuban Cost Plus Drug Company, it's already started. It's not covered by enough insurance yet. But we're watching it. 
And we think that Mark Cuban's doing a good thing by bringing the cost of medicine down. And I think he will succeed as more and more insurance companies come on board. Okay, North Carolina, student of the week in Pender County is Harry Lee. Harry Lee, fourth grade at the Top Sale Annandale Elementary School, Campstead, North Carolina. His favorite quote, lead, follow, or get out of the way. George Patton. Favorite book, Killing Patton. Way to go, Harry. His goals, he wants to go to Annapolis and become a U.S. Naval commander. Right on, Harry. You know, fourth grader reading Killing Patton? Impressive. Inflation at its highest level in 40 years. Interest rates skyrocketing. We all know that. Market experts like Jamie Dimon, CEO of J.P. Morgan, not only predict a recession, but are using scary terms like economic hurricane and unprecedented. So you need to call the only precious metal dealer I trust, American Hartford Gold. They will show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. Please call them today and they will have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your IRA or 401k. They have thousands of satisfied customers of the highest rated firm in the country with an A plus rating from the Better Business Bureau. Tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you and they'll give you up to $2,500 of free silver on your first order. Please call 866-501-5201. 866-501-5201 or text BILL to 65532. Again, 866-501-5201 or text BILL to 65532. Time now for the final thought of the day. And we just gave you a gratuity smart life uh, segment. Now, charitable giving on BillOReilly.com. I have listed uh, some of the charities that we give to. They've all been vetted. Uh, I am very, very militant about that. I'm not giving money to people who are going to waste it. All right. I talk to the people. We know what they're doing with the money. So if you're looking for charities, but let me give you a tip. Um, In your town and your county, there are usually a big brothers and sisters organization. I was a big brother when I uh, worked in Denver and I had three uh, kids and uh It was one of the best things that I've ever done. And I think the kids themselves would agree because I've stayed in touch with them over the years and mentored them. Um, So the Big Brothers, Big Sisters, that's a local charity that you might want to support. The other thing is the food kitchens. Um, They have them everywhere. Now, there are people and they're not drug addicts or or 'er ne'er-do-wells or whatever that are really poor and they're confused and they don't have the skills to really make it in America and they're hungry. So those things you can find and you can actually walk in and give them a check or whatever. And you can check it out yourself to see if they're being run properly. And, you know, I am a a guy who respects every religion even Islam when it's sincere, you know, not when I try to kill people, but, you know, and the basis of Christmas is Christianity. And it's quite clear that we Christians have an obligation to help people who need help. And so around Christmas time, this is It's, I have to do it. I have to do it. Now, tomorrow, I'm going to, we have a special edition. I'll be here and and I'll be here in in the setting and we'll have news and all of that. But I'm going to take some time out to do two things. Uh, The movie that I'm most proud of that I executive produced is Killing Jesus. I mean, Killing Kennedy was really good and so was Killing Lincoln and Killing Reagan. They were all good. But Killing Jesus is a cut above. And I'm going to run a two minute clip that directly pertains to the history of the birth of Jesus. 
Um, Kelsey Grammer is, uh, plays Herod in the clip. I'm going to run that. And then I'm going to, and I've done this once before, I'm going to go over the history that Martin Dugard and I found in Killing Jesus, the book, which was a massive worldwide bestseller. It doesn't have any religion in it, by the way. I don't use the word Christ once in Killing Jesus because Christ is Redeemer and it connotes a belief. We didn't do that. What we did was methodically find out Okay, what Jesus, the boy and the man, actually experienced on this planet. It's fascinating to me. I mean, even if I were a pagan, I mean, Jesus of Nazareth, the Nazarene, is the most famous human being who has ever lived. How did that happen? How did that happen? Think about it. Think about it. Of all the people who ever lived, he's the most famous and has the most followers today in 2022. How did that happen? Tomorrow, I'm going to tell you right here on the No Spin News. It's not going to be a sermon. It's going to be historically based. I find it fascinating. You may find it boring. If you do, you don't have to watch or listen. But I think it is Christmas week. This is a good deal. All right. So thank you very much for watching and listening on our on more than 100 radio stations across the country. And we will see you tomorrow. If you are stuck in a timeshare and you haven't called Lone Star Transfer yet, what are you waiting for? Lone Star Transfer has helped more than 16,000 happy customers. They are family owned, have a 99 percent success rate. Their process is done legally, ethically, and quickly. I mean, does it get better than that? The team at Lone Star Transfer will keep you informed every step of the way until you are legally and permanently released from your timeshare. So don't pay another penny for a timeshare you don't use. Get peace of mind today with Lone Star Transfer. They guarantee the release of all liability to your timeshare in writing and in a specific time frame. Give Lone Star Transfer a call for a free no-obligation consultation. 855-551-7066, 855-551-7066, or online at LoneStarTransfer.com.